today is a day of hope. And I want people to realize that such great things are coming. What we've been very focused on is whether instead of modulating the immune system to keep it from attacking type 1 uh, diabetics islets, could we maybe transplant cells and just hide them from the immune system? And so if we are able to do that, then patients won't have to be immunosuppressed when they get uh, a transplant. And if we do it with stem cells, then we have a virtually unlimited supply of cells so we could hopefully meet the needs of all patients. So we are the first ones who have made live movies of how beta cells are being attacked inside the body in animals so we understand how better how cells from the immune system go there and grab the beta cells. Among the therapies that we are testing since many years are the therapies that use pieces from the beta cells that are destroyed in diabetes obviously themselves. Use pieces from the beta cells to redirect your own immune system to learn how to protect them. So you make the immune system that initially attacks them into a protective army in the sense. And the problem in diabetes, especially type 1 diabetes, is the loss of the beta cells. Um, the only way to solve the problem really is to replace the beta, beta cells. Otherwise, you continue to do what we're doing now, which is do the job of the beta cell by measuring what your blood sugar is and injecting insulin. And, and the reality is that nobody's quite as good at it as a beta cell. I think the most successful efforts now are to try to recapitulate the mechanisms by which beta cells are normally made um, during uh, development as an embryo and during regeneration uh, in an adult. So efforts at, at developing beta cells from embryonic stem cells and uh, from regeneration uh, is really the focus of what research in the beta cell So in, in uh, developing beta cells from embryonic stem cells, um, uh, we're now at the point where we can make insulin producing cells uh, in a dish from embryonic stem cells and uh, those have many of the characteristics of a normal mature beta cell um, and they don't have proper control by blood glucose but that's really essentially the last step is to get those cells to mature. The next studies we're working on are to do a full closed loop in well, again in the hospital type setting, but completely controlled. And then we're going to be um, hopefully in the next uh, month or so moving to an outpatient trial of the um, predicted hyperglycemic prevention alarm at night. And you know, so it would be a uh, sensor and pump talking to a bedside computer, the algorithm on it. It would be in the home environment, so it would not be something in a research. Uh, setting. The, and then the other is these controlled range studies where we're taking um, situations where someone would miss a meal bolus and, and have a controller correct that and keep someone from running high and then we're going to be having um, similar situations where they exercise and maybe dropping their blood sugar and the controller would help prevent that. I think the, the major things that are moving forward is that the sensors are getting better, they're getting more wearable and um, eventually they, they may be integrated with the pump and so you'd have one de device that you're wearing. The, um, as the sensors get better, the closed loop gets better. You do that. You know me. Um, Definitely there may be future insulins that will be more rap acting more rapidly and, and not lasting as long, which will be much better for closely um, insulin delivery. Things are the pace is picking up of studies being done and more things getting approved and and moving ahead with additional studies. So I I'm, I'm optimistic. <laughs> It's an amazing day because we brought some of the top people in the country that are doing research in diabetes and we, at least I learned that the progress has been terrific in terms of treatments, in terms of the understanding of diabetes and it was also very gratifying that there were a lot of people with diabetes in the audience that got a lot of benefits and a lot of hope. <laughs> the issue of uh, transplantation is a real one, so there is a cure for diabetes now, the transplantation of the 
pancreas. I think the hope that the pig pancreas will be useful is terrific. As the speaker said, available and uh, wide use. And so I think that some of the things we heard today may revolutionize the treatment of diabetes.